this is going to be a quick video showing how I got an RTX 3050 working on Windows 7. First thing we're going to do is we're going to search for advanced driver search for NVIDIA. We're going to click on this link here. In my case, I have an RTX 30 series and a 3050. I'm going to select Windows 7 and click search. Now, even though these new drivers exist, they won't work on Windows 7. I'll leave a link below to the article. NVIDIA's official solution is to uh, enable test signing. I'll get to why that's a bad thing in a minute. But long story short, Microsoft is no longer signing drivers for WHQL, and so Windows 7 will reject these without test signing enabled. So we're gonna use the last one that was WHQL, which is this 47411. We're gonna select it, and we're gonna download it. All right, while that downloads, let me explain real quickly what's happening there when I'm talking about test signing. So as you can see here, if I do BCD edit, test signing doesn't show up here. When you turn on test signing, you enable two things. You put in two commands. One, you'll see test signing on, and two, you'll see disable integrity checks. Now, if you choose to run an older operating system, that's not the topic of this video, but if you're choosing to run an older operating system, okay, the last thing you want to do is disable security features meant to protect you, in this case from running unsafe or unsigned drivers. Okay, now a bit of irony here. Okay, if you look at the driver, it says not digitally signed. I suspect the reason this is happening is because I've modified the INF file but since I haven't modified the catalogs and I haven't modified the sys files, Windows still runs the driver because it's looking at the sys files or the catalog files to decide whether or not to actually run the driver. Just my theory. All right, so it's finished downloading. Just wanted to show you that I actually downloaded it again, just, uh, just so you can see there's no snake oil here. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll just extract that with 7-Zip here. Okay. I like 7-Zip. It's free, but you can use whatever you choose. Okay. And once it gets past that one, it usually goes pretty quick there. Perfect. Now, for the sound driver, the sound driver is actually signed. So you can just point it directly at this directory wherever you extract it, and it'll install the sound driver for you, no problem. For the display driver, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to edit it. I'm going to use Notepad++ for this. Oh, popped up on my other screen here. Okay. Now, if you look up 3050, okay, you'll see that there are three entries for it. 2507, 2508, and 2582. But if we look at the 3050 that I'm running, and maybe you'll get lucky and this driver will just work for you. You won't have to go through all this. So you should test to see if the driver will install before you go through this. Okay, you'll see I have a 2584, which if we search for 2584, it's not there. So what we're gonna do is here, on the 47411 driver, this is line uh, 14,092. Okay, we're gonna copy this line and we're gonna paste it down there. Okay, we're gonna change that to 2584. Now, if for some reason you're unsure about this, you I assume you're running Windows 7, but in case you have any doubts about this, open up Command Prompt, and you're looking for this section here, right? You can see I'm running Microsoft Windows version 6.1. Okay, it's important that you modify the 6.1 section, otherwise Windows is going to say that the driver isn't for this operating system. So let's go to the top here. Actually, probably be easier just to do 6.1. Okay, now you'll see that there is a list for 6.3, which is um, Windows 8.1, I believe. Um, regardless, though, we don't want 6.3, we want 6.1. Okay, so for 6.1, we're just going to go down until we find the 6.1 section, because again, we don't want to put them. Uh, so we also don't want the 6.2 section. Okay, there we go, 6.1 Windows 7, basically. 
Okay, now at the bottom of the 6.1 section, we'll find that 2582. What we're going to do is just going to paste it into a new line, change this to 2584 and 2584. Now real quick, just to show you what's happening here, if I point at this driver, okay, oopsies, and I do have disk. Now what will happen is it will say it's digitally signed, everything's great, but when you try to do this, at least for me, I would highly recommend trying this. Well, I tried all of these 3050s and it just it wouldn't load it properly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save it. Also notice how it presented us a whole list. Now watch what happens when we try this again. Okay, we'll point it at that same directory. We've saved our INF file and it says, oh hey, 3050, not digitally signed. Now I'm not going to click next because I would lose hardware acceleration, which would break this video recording. But it'll install, you'll reboot your computer, and everything will be fine. I hope that's helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.